What's up Node.js developers? In this video, we're gonna set up our Windows environment for Expo CLI. We're gonna cover installing Windows Terminal, installing Node.js with NPM, installing Expo, and also Visual Studio Code. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start by installing the Windows Terminal because we are gonna use it a lot. So let's open Microsoft Store and we can install it from here. Let's search Windows Terminal. And open it from here. Let's install it. And after that, we can launch it. Let's test it out. So if I write ls, I see all the folders that they have here. The next step is to install Git and we will use Git both for source control management and also for the Git bash that it comes with. So let's go to um, git slash scm.com and from here we can download it for Windows. After that, yeah, let's open the installation guide. All right, next, next. Here, what changes we should do? Let's check the last one. Uh, in order to add Git Bash profile to the Windows terminal that we installed previously. Yeah, let's leave everything else by default. Uh, next, uh, yeah, next. Here, let's override the default branch name for new repository with main, because this is the new default and uh, the new rule to have like the main branch as main. All right, so on this screen, I'm gonna choose the second one because this one will provide me with some Unix tools and it's useful for me because I'm coming from Linux and Mac OS and that's why I will choose this one. You can also go with a recommended one. It's gonna work as well as expected. Let's press on the next one. Let's leave it as default. Next, 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 default. And we don't need those, so let's install it. Okay, let's finish and let's open our Windows terminal. This will automatically open a PowerShell, but we can go on this arrow and open a git bash. So let's see if it opens. And here I can write git version. Yes, everything is installed, so all good. I'll also set the git bash as the default. So let's go to settings and default profile will be git bash save and close all tabs and let's open again a windows terminal and it will automatically open a git bash here all right so the next step is to install and configure node.js on our machine we will need Node.js in order to run our React Native application. And also we will need the NPM, which comes with Node.js uh, and which is a package manager uh, because we will use it uh, to install packages in our application. So let's get started. And we're gonna go to node.js.org. And here uh, I'm gonna install the version 16 that starts with 16, just because this version will have long-term support, if we look here, very soon in October this year. So most probably by the time you are watching this, the version 16 is already having long-term support, which means that it is safe to be used in production environments. So let's go and download this one and let's open the installer. Okay, so here, let's press next. Let's accept the terms. Next, next. Very important, tick this uh, checkbox in order to automatically install all the necessary tools uh, in order not to do them manually. So next and wait until Node.js installs. Okay, let's say finish and this will automatically open a terminal. And here let's press on any key to continue because this is the additional tools that Node.js automatically installs for us. So.
All right, so after around seven or nine minutes, I think it finished and automatically uh, closed the terminal. So let's have a look if it successfully installed it. So I'm gonna open again Windows Terminal. And from here we can write node minus minus version. Yeah, we see that the version is 16.7 and also we can write npm minus minus version. And npm is 7.2, which means that node and npm has been installed successfully. All right, so we have installed all the dependencies of Expo. Now let's go ahead and install Expo itself. So let's open Windows Terminal and using npm install npm install dash dash global because we want it to be installed globally expo dash cli all right so it seems that expo has been installed successfully um, let's try to initialize a project and see if everything works so i'm going to clear the screen and i'm going to create a new directory make dear projects and let's go inside this directory and here I can initialize an expo project using expo init. Now expo will ask us uh, what would you like to name our application so my first app and for the template I'm gonna choose the blank the first one as default just to know that it runs and it installed everything okay. All right, so the application has been uh, initialized. Now let's go inside the folder of our app. So CD my first app. And from here, let's run npm st to start the development server, the Metro server. Yeah, let's allow access and it will open a new browser here, a new browser window with Expo Developer Tools. If everything works so far, that means that everything is, is installed successfully. Before running this application on our device, let's first of all create an Expo account uh, in order to be able to play the application on our device. Yeah, I'm gonna open a new terminal here and let's do Expo Register. You can do it from the terminal and also you can do it from their website. I think it will redirect us to the website directly. Here I already have an account, but for you, go ahead and create a new account. And after that, come back to your terminal and write expo login. And here provide your username and your password. Okay, so after the success message, we can write expo who am I, and it will tell you if you are logged in successfully. Logged in as Vadim Savin. Perfect. So the next step now is on our mobile phone. We should download the Expo Go from Market. It's available both on Android on Play Market and on iOS on the App Store. So just search Expo Go and you'll find the application there. So going to App Store, we can write Expo Go. And here is the application. You can install it and then open up. I will open it again. So if I look at our project here in the development tools, yeah, everything is running. So yeah, no projects are currently open. Let's try to uh, run the project again, the Expo project, because we were not logged in at that time. So going back to the terminal, I'm going to do Ctrl C to stop the server and npm start again to start it back. And it should automatically uh, show us the running project in our Expo Go application on the device because we are logged in with the same account. Also, don't forget to log in with your account here on in Expo Go application. Now in the recently in development, I see a new application there. So if I open it here, It took some time to load, but now I see opening project. So let's see if it will build. 
Now, in, back in our development tools here, we see building JavaScript bundle. All right, so we see our beautiful application, our first React Native uh, application with Expo, and it says open app.js to start working on your app. So for example, let's have a look at the application. Let's try to do a very small change and to see that it automatically updates in our Expo Go. At that point, we can say that we are done. So here is my application. Let's open it with some default editor. We're gonna handle the ID later. For example, Notepad is okay. So here, if instead of this text, we will write hello world. And if we save a file, let's have a look in our application. Yes, it updated successfully automatically. So in your case, if everything worked, congratulations, you are set and ready to get started building application using Expo. Okay, and the last step is to install an ID where we will spend most of our time writing the code. My ID of choice is Visual Studio Code. So let's go ahead and open Visual Studio Code in order to download it and install on our system. Okay, let's press download for Windows. Uh, yeah, And let's start the installation. I accept the agreement, next, that's okay, next. Uh, let's add open with code action in Windows Explorer in directory as well. And let's register code as an editor for supported file types. Okay, let's install it. Okay, now, uh, yeah, let's not launch it. Uh, let's open the folder with a project that we had. So here in our, uh, my first application project, we can go ahead and press open with code, not with Visual Studio Code. Let's press uh, trust the offer and some settings. I prefer the dark mode and that's it. Here we have our application. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a bit. From here, we can open the terminal by pressing control and the apostrophe below escape button, or you can go here, terminal, new terminal. From here, again, you can write npm, npm start, and this will do the same. It will start our expo project and we will be able to run it from here. So if everything is installed, we are good to go. We have uh, all the dependencies installed. We have our IDE. So let's continue and let's start actually building. So now we have everything installed, all the dependencies. We have Expo CLI installed. We have our IDE Visual Studio Code. All right, so we have everything set up. Uh, yeah, maybe this part was more boring, especially for me. I hate installing environments and setting up everything. So it's good that we have it ready and we will be able to start working and learning React Native using Expo. If you are interested in uh, how to further customize Visual Studio Code with themes, extension and plugins, I will include somewhere a bonus video which will show you what settings do I have. But for now, let's continue our learning journey. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And I'm also considering doing a React Native environment setup. So if you're interested in that as well, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell not to miss that video. Take care, stay hydrated, and write clean code. Bye-bye.